All right, this is a video to show you how to make the pin I was talking about. Uh, this is a cigar style pin. Um, this is burgundy acrylic with uh, some, I want to say maple burl. Uh, it should be really pretty. So I'll go ahead and get it on the mandrel. I was explaining earlier about the, uh, the bushing set sizes on the cigar style pin. There are three different size. I don't know if I can get this thing started. There we go. There's three different size bushings, and I'll explain that real fast to you again. Okay, so you've got your pin here, and how I have mine is set up this way. That's how I turn them. I always think of the lathe as the front, the head of the pin. So you've got the smaller bushing, then you've got the next size bushing, the second size. So the end pieces are the same. Now in the middle, when you run the pin this direction, this bushing is going to be the smaller bushing, and the one behind it will be the larger bushing. As you can tell, this one's larger than that one. Go off the little silver rings they give you. There'll be a ring on the back here, and a silver ring there on the front. And uh, so let's show you how to turn this pin. Uh, like I said, make sure it's real good and tight. Uh, tighten her down real nice. That way she don't slide or chip. Bring your tail stock up. Try not to shove it in so you don't bend the mandrel or run your live center. Uh, just get it locked in nicely. Turn it on. You hear it clean up there. Um, I like to use this, uh, a parting tool. You can do it however you want. I like to bring it down to size. If I put an edge on mine, I, I angle it to where it angles that way upwards. That way I have a real sharp point on the side. Here we go. Small bites. It's vibrating like it is, so we need to tighten it up. We'll go ahead and... Alright, here we go. We're going to go ahead and... I do believe it's called a bowl gouge or spindle gouge, but very, very, very slow. Don't take any large bites. I don't like using these because it chips off. Now the edge is always going to tip. Take your time. Small bites. Go ahead and shape it down real quick. Just to show you how I do it with a parting tool. Oops, see that catch? Hopefully we didn't hurt it. But with the parting tool, I'll just catch the very edge of it. Not a big bite, a small bite. Now something's not tight, that's why you're hearing that noise. We need to figure out why. So I wanted to show you, when you do it with a spindle gouge or anything like that, you're going to see these little, these little tear outs. These aren't air bubbles, and when you do your own castings, if you see these, you might catch one or two air bubbles, but most of that is not air bubbles. 99% of it is going to be tear out or catch. And the only way I can get away from doing tear out or catch is if I use a parting tool and only take off small amounts. Now for some reason that's, maybe I'm not sharpening my tools right or what the deal is. I can get it perfect when I use a uh, parting tool. So, not sure why. It's a little bit of information for you. Like I said, remember the bushings, but here we go. Go ahead and turn the speed up. 